8-inch carbon fiber guitar marked the first big breakthrough in trying to create an instrument with brilliant design, cutting-edge technology and incredible playability. I've been using Lava guitars for a while and today I want to give you my honest thoughts on these guitars four years after trying the beautiful Lava ME2 and pretty much a year after testing the incredible Lava ME3. We will talk about the pros and cons of buying a Lava guitar, what's good and bad about the size and shape of some of the models, the sound, the truth about the built-in effects, the playability between the strumming and finger style. There has always been a lot of love and hate towards these guitars since they are so different, unique and in some cases not even closer to our beloved wooden guitars. Lava guitars also come in different sizes and shapes but they are made of carbon fiber or HPL and their body shapes only slightly resemble a regular guitar. They've released five models and they're all slightly different. The Lava ME2, the Lava Pro, the Lava ME3, the Blue Lava and the Blue Lava Original. For example, the Lava ME2 is a 36 inch body guitar. It feels like a small guitar with rounded edges. It's entirely made of carbon fiber and it's a great trouble guitar. It feels completely different from the Blue Lava original. Because of the cut edges, it feels more like a regular guitar. It feels and looks bigger. They share the same system, but they are completely different in many different aspects. Great for traveling, I love the design. They work great for strumming chords, and I love how these guitars sound considering the size. Now one of the cons of the Lava 2 as well as Lava 3 and the Lava Pro is that they feel a little slippery without a footstool. Uh, playing on the couch is fine, a bar stool is fine, but if you're sitting on a regular chair like this one without a footstool, the rounded edges make the guitar a little slippery. You can definitely hold it properly. Uh, but at first, it feels kind of the guitar is, is running away from you. And so if you use a footstool, it's probably the best idea. Now, Blue Lava and Blue Lava Original don't have this issue. Uh, they feel more like a guitar. So I'm glad that they created those models that come closer to a regular guitar. You don't have this soft edge, so it's just easier to sit down and hold the guitar properly. Uh, it doesn't feel slippery. Now, apart from that, I've totally embraced the different shapes and forms of lava guitars. Uh, the different sound hole, and of course, the different tone. These guitars are made of carbon fiber and HPL. I just consider them to be different guitars and I'm not mad at the people from Lava for creating something different. Let's talk about the sound. I've posted quite a few videos of me playing and reviewing Lava guitars and read many negative comments about how these guitars don't sound like regular guitars. And yes, they don't sound like a regular guitar. It's a carbon fiber guitar 
with an oval sound hole and a piece of technology, a preamp glued inside. Of course, it sounds different. Now there is a massive difference in sound between the Lava ME and the Blue Lava. For example, the ME, so the Lava ME2 and the Lava ME3 are made of carbon fiber, which sounds bright. If you are a fan of loud and bright guitars, you will love the ME models. Now, the Blue Lava models are made of HPL, high pressure laminates, which sounds different. It's softer, rounded, and less loud. Now, when I tried uh, the Blue Lava, I thought, you know, I'm not sure about the sound. It didn't sound that loud. But a lack in volume doesn't necessarily mean that the guitar is not good. And after spending a little bit of time playing with the Blue Lava, I realized how much I preferred the softer tone of the high pressure um, laminates. Now, do I like the sound of these guitars? Absolutely. Do they sound good? I think so. Do they sound different? Yes, indeed. And one thing that I want you to consider when approaching a lava guitar is that you are playing a guitar that was designed to look and sound different. about built-in effects. One of the core characteristics of lava guitars is the built-in effects. So lava guitars have a technology that allows you to add effects to the guitar without using external gear. The free boost pickup is found inside the instrument and once activated, it will add effects to the guitar and you will hear the effects through the sound hole. Making lava guitars extremely fun to Adding a simple reverb to your guitar while practicing enhances your experience with the instrument. It can improve your practice and motivate you to play more. Of course, guys, it's not a must-have feature. Uh, we did pretty well with guitars that didn't have built-in effects, but it's mind-blowing to have a guitar that does that. There are mainly two systems, the L2 free boost pickup, which is found on the guitar with the three knobs, very simple and intuitive, and also the Blue Lava Original. We have the same exact uh, system. The system allows you to add three effects. It's very intuitive and straightforward to use. Then you have the L3 High Lava System with Free Boost 2.0, which is the system found on the Lava 3 and Blue Lava. Now you interact with this uh, system through a 3.5 inch uh, touchscreen display on the upper side of the guitar. With this system, you can add an incredible amount of effects. There is a built-in tuner and metronome, an integrated and simple to use loop station, a learning app that listens to your playing and gives you instant feedback. And they keep updating the system uh, with new features. So it's literally like 
having a phone installed on your guitar. But despite the incredible capability of the 3.5 inch touch screen, I have to say that I quite prefer and enjoy the simplicity of the three knobs free boost pickup. Uh, it's so intuitive, you press one button and you're good to go. there are a few cons to you know having such a system integrated into the guitar shelf life of sophisticated electronics i mean as with any electronic device um, there is always the potential for something to go wrong there is also battery capacity i mean the guitar requires a battery to operate so you'll need to make sure that it's charged up and ready to go when you want to use the effects the guitar works if the battery is not charged but you can't use the effects. Now let's talk about playability, strumming versus fingerstyle. How does it feel to play um, lava guitars? Are they suitable for strumming and fingerstyle? What are my thoughts? After playing these guitars for a while, I can definitely say I mainly use them for strumming or simple and basic fingerstyle. Uh, I try to use light strings like uh, Elixir NanoWeb Gauge 10. I use you know, super light strings on all my guitars. But these particular uh, guitars uh, always feel a little hard to play in finger style. So I can do simple finger style such as this one or even rhythmic stuff. Um, but if I have to do something more, uh, you know, complex, uh, then, you know, it feels a little harder. So playing this guitar with a guitar pick or strumming uh, is ideal and I prefer it. It's a good guitar for beginners who wants to uh, learn how to play simple songs with the strumming technique. However, if you need an instrument that is more versatile and that you want to use for both strumming and finger style, I would definitely recommend starting with a regular guitar. Just because the dynamic response and the tone you have from a wooden guitar is definitely wider than the dynamic response you get from lava guitars. And I mean, you can get a beautiful sounding tone, soft tone out of this carbon fiber guitar. So it's not bad. It's actually pretty good considering that, you know, there is not even one piece of wood in this guitar. So pros and cons of getting a lava, in my opinion, of course, uh, you can um, have your opinion on that. I just wanted to make a video where I talk about the pros and cons because I've been playing lava guitars for a long time. Uh, I think it's since 2019. So it's been a few years and I really want to know what you think. What are your thoughts? Um, do you own a lava guitar? Are you happy uh, with what you have? And, you know, just let me know your overall thoughts on uh, this subject. Because, you know, we're moving so fast with technology and, I mean, instruments are getting also quite um, technological. So let me know if you like this combination of technology and instruments. I'm going to leave you with an awesome day and... I'll talk to you soon, guys. Enjoy this video, and I'll see you soon.